I'm realizing more and more as I read Romans and read the Old Testament and the New Testament alike that uh, what we don't always uh, give a lot of emphasis to, and we should, is that the fullness of the Gentiles or God's full heart and plans for believers from every nation is inextricably linked to this other scriptural promise of the salvation of all Israel. And here at Jewish Voice Ministries, we're committed for 55 years and counting now to reaching Jewish people and their neighbors with the gospel. Yeah, let's reference this so people yeah. understand the context. Romans fullness, 11, 26. Yeah, let's put it up because this is an important point. The fullness of the Gentiles. Right. It actually says here that the blindness will come off of the eyes of the Jewish people. That's right. Which presupposes that God has not finished with the Jewish people or replaced Absolutely. them that the blindness will come off of their eyes. So there's a spiritual blindness right. covering, the, covering their eyes now that keep them from recognizing who Jesus is, that mm -hmm. he's the Jewish Messiah. Mm -hmm. And it connects it to the fullness of the Gentiles coming in. That's what right. What does that mean? That's right. Well, I think, you know, the word there in, in the Greek, in the language that this, this uh, book to the Romans was written in, is pleroma. And it doesn't mean a numeric fullness. You know, sometimes we, we get the wrong idea, right? And it's like God's up in heaven with one of those amusement park clickers. And when he gets to the right click for the Gentiles, okay, now it's time to, to deal with Israel to save, to save uh, the Jewish people. That's not the idea. But it's very commonly understood that it way. Is. And, and several translations say the full number. Right. But if we look at the Greek word, what it really means is almost, if you can envision like a cornucopia a full abundance. Now there's a quantitative factor to it as well, but what Paul's really saying is when the full abundance of God's heart and plans for the nations, right? Because God so loved the world, Jew and Gentile alike, that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And so when the fullness, the full abundance of God's heart and intentions for the nations, in essence, a remnant of believers from every people, tribe, and tongue, uh, is, is realized, then we get to this point where we see the full realization of God's heart for Israel, which, as Paul shares, is that they might be safe. Hi, my name is Ezra Benjamin, and I'm the Vice President of Global Ministry Affairs here at Jewish Voice. I'm glad you visited our site today, and before you close this video, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for coming to learn more about what we do. However you got here today, an ad, a search, maybe even a prompting from the Lord, thanks for responding.